Hello again, Marcus Turriello, Benefit for Providers, where we answer your Medicare questions. I have a lot of clients on Medicare, and typically they ask me a lot of questions about COBRA. So there's a lot of people on COBRA that can make mistakes. Let's talk about COBRA and the mistakes people make. What is COBRA? How does it work? COBRA is when you continue your insurance when you leave the big company. And you can continue insurance as is up to 18 months or even 36 months with some circumstances. So we're talking about a company 20 or over employees that have COBRA coverage. So what are the, what's the mistakes people make on Medicare? So the first mistakes people make on Medicare is not enrolling in Part B Medicare. So what is the significance of this? So when you're working for the big company, if you're 65 and over, you don't need Part B Medicare. So you could save some money every month. But when you go on, go on COBRA, you have to enroll in Part B Medicare because Medicare is primary. So what happens if you don't have Part B Medicare? You're basically self-funded. You have no insurance coverage. So you could be in big trouble. Next mistake people make is not enrolling in a supplement after six months of getting enrolled in Part B Medicare. So when you enroll in Medicare, you have two choices, a Medicare Advantage plan and a Medicare supplement. If you intend to enroll in a supplement, you have a six month window of six months to enroll in a supplement. After that, there's Medicare questions. They have questions they have to ask you. The insurance company asks you 25 to 30 questions. You could be turned down at that point in time because of health problems. You could ask be to be paid, pay a little bit more. So what is the, the, the next mistake people make on COBRA? Of course, not understanding the full cost of COBRA. So when you're working for a big company, the cost is subsidized. So you don't have to pay 100% of the cost of the insurance. You work for a big company, over 50 employees, they have to pay 50% of the cost of the COBRA, of the insurance for, through the job. Once you leave the job and you're paying for COBRA, the cost is 100% of the cost the employer's paying, plus an admin fee of 2%. So some employers subsidize the COBRA for a short period of time, 12 months, six months, what have you. After that 12 months is over, some people have sticker shock. They don't realize they, they have to pay the full cost at that point in time. And some people after that point are stuck. They have to do something right away. So what is the next mistake? The next mistake is not fully going over all your other options. So COBRA is 102% of the cost of the insurance. People continue the insurance on COBRA generally because they have Dependents. They have to cover a spouse, they have to cover children. What people don't realize is that you could do a lot better with a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan. Also, you could do a lot better with individual insurance with a subsidy from the government. So that's the fourth mistake people make. So what's a good way to avoid a mistake on COBRA? Obviously, get a good insurance agent. I've been an insurance agent for over 30 years in this industry for a long time. If you have any questions on COBRA, give me a call. Let me know if I can help you. Marcus Turriello, Benefit Providers. We will answer your Medicare questions. Please call us if you have any questions on the above topic. Thank you.